Hey guys, Red Pen Running here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day. This video, this is going to be a how-to video on how to mine Carlson. They actually just switched out their algorithm from Carlson hash to Carlson hash v2. And this is going to be an algorithm which is a little bit more memory hardened. And so the biggest reason why they switched this algorithm was to kick out the potential ASICs or massive FPGA farm that was on their network recently. So they've just completed their hard fork today and they are now on Carlson hash v2. So I'm going to show you guys how to mine Carlson now on the new Carlson hash v2 using Hive OS as well as Windows. Okay, I have my 20 GPU rig here. I'm going to show you guys on the new Regal miner and as well as in Hive OS, I have a AMD card for a 6600 XT. There's a new SRB miner that's also released with the Carlson hash v2 algorithm as well and also in high velocity i will show a rtx 3070 rig example okay for nvidia using regal miners latest version as well so let's begin and thank you to HeroMiners.com for sponsoring this video to showcase to you guys how to mine carlson on their mining pool so let's begin first with a windows example so first things first before you get to mining carlson okay you'll want to look at getting their wallet so i'm on carlsoncoin.com okay and this is where you can see all of their resources but as well as their wallets that are available they have a web wallet desktop wallet and mobile wallet so i highly recommend using their carlson uh, desktop wallet uh, this is going to be the most secure, most decentralized way to store your coins, or I guess Carlson in this case. They also do have a mobile wallet and as well as a web wallet, which I will be using the web wallet as an example for today to mining to just as an easy test here. OK, so anyways, first things first, make sure you get your Carlson wallet. And now let's go back to the Windows machine here that I'm going to showcase to you guys mining an example using Windows. OK, so we're going to download the latest Regal Miner 1.19.0. This has the Carlson hash v2 algorithm update here. So we're gonna scroll down and I'll have this link down below in case anyone wants to download it. We're gonna download the Regal uh, 1.90 win.zip. So I'm gonna click on that and we're gonna save this just in my downloads folder here. And now it should be saved right there. We're gonna go to show in folder. We're gonna go to the downloads folder now. Okay, so this is where we are going to right click it. We're going to extract this folder. OK, just where it is or you guys can save it wherever you'd like. Now it's going to open up in a new folder or you can just double click into it and you'll now have access to the Regal Miner batch files. So I'm going to open up and right click and open up the uh, edit actually. So we're going to right click and then edit just to open it up here. And you may get something like this. I'm just going to hit uh, run anyway. And now it's going to show up like this. So here is the batch file. And this is the stock one from Regal Miner. I'm going to remove these two colons here. OK, because this is where we're going to be mining two hero miners. OK, I'm just going to just delete all these other ones here as we don't we don't need these. OK, make sure it looks like this. Now we're going to make sure we have the right stratum. OK, for mining two hero miners. So here on HeroMiners.com, this is where I'm going to choose uh, US West. This is I'm on the west side of North America. I'm going to highlight, copy this, and uh, wherever you are, you want to choose the closest mining pool to your location. OK, so now we're going to go back here. We're going to paste this into uh, here, right here. OK, just replace whatever stock one was there. Now we're going to enter in our Carlson wallet, which is over here. OK, on my web wallet or the desktop wallet or whichever wallet that you guys decide to use. Again, preferably the desktop wallet just to be safe. Now I am going to copy this. We're going to go back to here. We're going to paste the Carlson wallet here. And there it is. Now I want to enter in some parameters for the GPUs that I have here because I want to run them efficiently. OK, so just an example for my 50 HXs. Let me implement the overclocks. And here are my settings I have decided to use for overclocking the 50 HXs. OK, I'm using dash dash lock dash C clock 1110 and dash dash M clock 750. OK, this is the 
uh, memory clock offset, and this is the lock core clock. So I got these settings from hashrate.no, and you guys can go on here and just keep in mind, these are just general overclock settings, and you guys can go check it out yourself and also you know change the numbers yourself to get the efficiency that you want to achieve. But hashrate.no has general overclock settings, okay? So just a, a little warning there. But let's now go back here and let's go ahead and save this batch file. You're gonna go notepad, save, close this. Now we are gonna run the batch file. We're gonna right click it and run as administrator. I hit yes here and now it's going to start mining Carlson on the Carlson hash V2. All right. So it looks like it's building a DAG. It's 4.83 gigabytes for the DAG size. So four gigabyte cards or lower will not be able to participate in Carlson mining. So anything like below six gigabyte VRAM should be fine. Uh, but anyways, looks like it's just starting up to mine. I just want to show you guys what hash rate I can achieve here on these 50HXs. We could probably fine-tune them but i just got some general overclock numbers here from hashrate.no so yeah you can see 11 10 core the uh 5000 megahertz memory plus 750 the memory offset there and looks like we're getting about 28 mega hash at about uh 100 watts 96 watts around there and so the whole rig is getting about 194 mega hash at uh around 700 watts for the whole rig around there. So how profitable is that currently? Well, I, I put those numbers in and it looks like we are profiting currently about $2.05, but that could change depending on the network hash rate. So anyways, this is the Windows example for Carlson Mining. Now let's go into the HiveOS uh, testing now for the new Carlson Hash V2. So in HiveOS, let's do the AMD rig example now. Okay, so we're gonna go to HiveOS. For people that already have HiveOS, you will just have to update to the latest version, okay? And HiveOS already just today uploaded the new version for SRB Miner and uh, Rego Miner as well, if you're doing NVIDIA, which will I'll show you an example on 3070s in a second. But you're just gonna wanna update your rig, okay, for the new SRB Miner here, 2.64. So it's just gonna update here. Uh, next thing while that's going, all right, you may want to do a hive dash replace to update your kernel to the latest version. Some people might be on older versions, in which case you can burn a new hive OS installation or remote access to the rig and you can do a hive replace. I'll show you guys that command real quick here. So just logging into my rig here to update to the latest hive OS version, just type in hive dash replace and then dash dash list. And this should bring up all the different versions and you'll probably just want to get the latest stable version. So you're just gonna type in one and it says, if you want to install have us, uh, you just type in yes and enter and it will, it will go, okay? So you'll get the latest uh, kernel version of HiveOS. Basically doing the latest version, updating the kernel is for, you know, vulnerability fixes, updates, security fixes. It's always best practice to update to the latest uh, version for the underlying base uh, system image of uh, Linux, which is what HiveOS uses, not Windows, it's Linux. It's a Linux system. Anyways, let's go ahead and begin start mining Carlson. So I'll show you here. We are gonna wanna add the wallets, okay? So in your HiveOS farm, you'll wanna go to wallets, okay? Then you wanna make sure you add a wallet here, okay? And we're gonna type in KLS for Carlson. Now I'm just gonna get my Carlson address from my just example uh, test wallet. Now we're gonna go back to here. We're gonna paste it in here, the wallet address. You can give it a name if you want, if you want to, but you can hit create. Okay, so it's added and it's, uh, where is it? It's right here. Okay, so now we are going to now go to flight sheets and we are gonna create a new flight sheet for Carlson. And we just created the wallet. And I just realized I had two of them, but for this example, I'll just use that. Pool, now we're gonna use Hero Miners. So Hero Miners, looks like they've already updated it in the web GUI in HiveOS, which is really nice. Alternatively, you can go to Hero Miners and also check to make sure that their pool is updated, which it is. 1195 is the port number. And just correlating to their names here, US or Canada or whichever country that you're near, you'll wanna choose your closest one. 
Alternatively, you also want to have some backup pools just in case. So I'm just going to choose US West and uh, uh, East as the backup. Now we're going to hit apply. Now the miner in this case is, is going to be SRB. We're going to click on that. Next, we'll just want to verify the setup miner config, make sure all the parameters are in here. So it looks like the Carlson hash uh, V2 wasn't selected. So you want to make sure that this is selected here. Okay. And then make sure you got the wallet here, uh, maybe as well as the worker name. I also put the worker name here. Uh, the URL, which is already specified in the hero miners that we chose already. Uh, and then that's it. Hit apply. We're going to create this flight sheet now. Uh, give it a name. It's for my 6600 XT. Create flight sheet. Okay, that's there. We're going to go back to my workers now. Okay, now you want to go back to your rig that you want to mine on. And this is now where we want to enter in some overclock settings for your GPU. So in my case here, let me enter in my 6600 XT settings. Okay, so here are my overclock settings I'm using for my 6600 XT. Again, I got these numbers from hashrate.no. You guys can change the settings to get more efficiency, but just general numbers here. Okay, I'm going to hit apply. And now we're going to go to the flight sheet. And we're going to set the flight sheet by clicking this button here. Okay, uh, this one right here on the on the right. So now I clicked it. It's now set the flight sheet. Now it's going to take just a minute or two to start mining. We're going to go now to the rig itself. I'm going to log into it uh, through the local IP here. I'm local to the machine. So I'm going to hit user one is my password. We're going to log in uh, to the miner. Just type in miner to see if it's mining or not. And it looks like it's going to start mining here, all right, on an AMD card on Carlson. That's kind of weird to say, but because <laughs> now that uh, Carlson is now moving to the fish hash algorithm, which is uh, a little bit more memory hardened, AMD cards now can participate and be competitive now against uh, a NVIDIA cards and, of course, against ASICs or uh, kicking out. They, they mainly did this to kick out the ASICs and uh, the FPGAs, but looks like DAG has been created. All right, 4,608 megabytes. And let's see, it's just tuning the 6600 XT. And we can actually go back here and just refresh. Looks like we're getting 20 mega hash at 48 watts. Ooh, that seems to be extremely good. Extremely good. Just entering my numbers here. We're going to 20.5 mega hash at like... Uh, uh, 60 watts, I'm going to say, at the wall. C calculate at 10 cent kilowatt hour. We're making 21 cents on a 6600 XT. That is, uh, that's uh, not bad, not bad. But looks like you can see here, guys, it's showing up here in the web GUI uh, miner interface. We're going 19 mega hash here, according to the miner. But if we go back here, hit refresh, and 20.03 mega hash. Okay, so there you guys go. That's an example using an AMD rig in Hive OS. Now, let's do the NVIDIA example, an RTX 3070. That's probably a rig that most people have. So again, I need to update the Hive OS image here, uh, Hive OS uh, software update. So I'm going to update this. Um, I will probably, do I need to update the kernel? I do. I'm quite far behind here, but I'm going to see if this works. But again, best practice, uh, which I showed example in the AMD example was to hive replace to update to the latest version or just alternatively burn a new uh, image to your SSD. Okay, so it's just updating right now. And so let's go through all the steps again. So we're going to go back to my 3070 farm here. We're going to go to wallets. We're going to add the wallet for Carlson here. Okay, so we're going to go KLS. Next, we're going to add in the wallet address here. I'm going to copy that from my web wallet, just as an example. Go here, paste it here. Test KLS rig. Okay, create. Now, we're going to go to flight sheets. We're going to create the flight sheet for the 3070s. So, we're going to type in the coin. On the left here, it's going to be KLS wallet, the one that we uh, just made. Then we're going to go collect, select uh, hero miners, and it's already populated here. US West, US East as my backup. Okay, you can choose any one. Again, you can choose the pool that's closest to you. Hit apply. Now the miner for NVIDIA cards or for my 3070s is going to be Regal Miner. Since we've had good, good experience with this, with this miner here. Now we're going to make sure the setup miner config. Uh, this is where you want to click into this just to make sure everything is... Okay, so Carlson hash, uh, this is wrong. So you got to make sure if it's not working, you want to make sure you select Carlson hash v2. Okay, on the new algorithm. 
and make sure wallet.worker name is here. That's good. Password, you can put anything. You don't have to put anything actually. Uh, URL is there, extra config arguments. Okay, so this is where we can either add the overclock settings here, but just recently, uh, we're just gonna hit apply changes here. Uh, create the flight sheet now. We're gonna do the overclocks in the main page of where your workers are. Okay, so after the flight sheet's created, you'll see it at the top here. Go to workers, we're gonna go to the, our mining rig, and we're gonna set the overclocks now before we set the flight sheet. So just in my head, I'm thinking we're we're gonna be the doing the lock core clock here. I believe it's 810 uh, memory clock. Uh, we're not do, we're doing the offset. It's gonna be I'm gonna say I think 2000. That would be in Hive OS. I think a thousand in Windows, but 2000 here. Then power limit I believe is gonna be 180, and I'm gonna hit save. So these are the only overclock settings I'm gonna be using uh, for the Carlson Hash V2. Uh, because we're we're a bit more memory dependent now so okay it's all set there now we're gonna go to flight sheet and we're gonna set the flight sheet this rocket button click that and yep there we go it's all set here we're gonna go back to overview and now we should see it mine so i'm gonna log into it locally here okay, alternatively again you guys can use the hive os uh, hive shell uh, and we're going to see if it's mining and let's see what type of numbers we get. Okay. All right. So it's just building the DAG here and, uh, we're going to see if it updates. Uh, yeah, built, the, built the DAG in about 20 seconds. It's setting the memory offset. All right. Plus a thousand. Uh, we specified 2000 because it's, it's double in Hive OS. Um, so yeah, eight, 10 core looks like that work. Okay. So we're getting 39 mega hash on each 3070. And that is, that is amazing. That's pretty good. So what's the power consumption? So it's probably just updating here. Uh, we're getting about 110 watts on the 3070s. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, so the numbers I used here, just keep in mind, you guys can play around with these, um, get the efficient numbers that you can achieve. Let me know down below if you guys can get better numbers on the 3070 and I'll try it out myself, but also helps out other people that are reading the comments in the YouTube comments there. So now, how profitable is this rig right now? Currently, it's, you know, it may change, but look at that. It's mining the hero miners just fine. So I'm going to take the whole rig here, 317 mega hash at about uh, the whole power consumption. This isn't an octa miner, so I can see the true power consumption. We are at a thousand, pretty much a thousand watts. Okay, a thousand watts at 317 mega hash. So I'm going to go to the calculator on hashrate.no. We're going to put our numbers in exactly 317 mega hash at about a thousand watts at so at 10 cent kilowatt hour this whole rig is mining at four dollars and 43 cents revenue or about two dollars and three cents uh profit after electric so that's that's great so far so good okay my friends that's it that concludes the how-to video on how to mine carlson on an nvidia rig like in hive os or an amd card rig in hive os or a nvidia rig on windows which this thing is still going strong i like it this is good this is really good okay you guys let me know your thoughts again thank you to herominers.com for today's video and sponsor i'll see you all in the next video have a good one peace out